What's good, what's good? Went to the gym this evening. I wanna get, you know, stronger. So I decide, you know, working out is a good way to go. Eating right and exercising and also resting. Uh, I've lost a little bit of weight. I was just checking out some old pictures from 2017 and I realized I've lost some muscle mass. Uh, I'm not sure the reason why, but the only thing I could think of is I've been doing a lot and not resting. It's not like I've not been strength training, I've been strength training a lot. The only difference is I used to sleep more, but now I sleep less. I didn't used to drink a lot of coffee, then I started drinking coffee, so I realized something happened with my mass. So what I'm doing right now is hoping to gain my mass back, so I'm lifting a little bit heavier. All the times I've been spending in the studio, just self-abusing, you know, not resting, not treating my body like it deserves to be treated. It definitely does catch up to you. So what I'm doing here is trying to, you know, pay those prices by taking care of myself and cleaning, cleansing my system, working out, sweating, eating the right food, resting properly, drinking a lot of water. That is the regimen I'm on right now. So I have a birthday celebration, an album release party in a few days, which is Sunday the 26th. This is going down at G's Lounge. DJ Jamstar is gonna be DJing that event. Uh, Mike is promoting the event. Konzo, I'm doing a song with him and I'm doing a song with DJ Nice. Actually, it's a feature that we have together. So the song is called Come To Your Aid. The song features DJ Nice and Konzo. So we're gonna use that opportunity to shoot the video. My man, uh, Desta Brains, is shooting the video for us. The guy is awesome, I saw some of his work. He recently did a video shoot for my boy, Sarjagul, who referred me to him. Good guy, Sarjagul is a good artist. Check him out, definitely. Yes, so he referred me to Desta Brains, who is going to be doing my video shoot on Sunday. So I'm not sure what you're going to be doing, but I think you should stop by. You don't want to miss it. All of you that be saying, yo, y'all never let me know when you're doing shit. Bruh, I posted all over my social media. Like, I mean, I know people want to feel special. They want me to call them and stuff like that. I would call you. But sometimes time does not permit me to do all those things I want to do. Imagine being an independent artist. You're the one in charge of everything you do. Okay. And besides that, I'm a married man with uh, two kids. So I'm a family man as well. So I have to fit this all in my schedule while doing the things I enjoy as well. And also pursuing my music. So I'm in the gym doing some deadlift, lifting really heavy right now. I don't know why I got sidetracked, but uh, this is what is going on in my world. Definitely trying to take care of my health, take care of myself, and I encourage you guys to do the same. You know, your health is your wealth. You know, you could be rich today, but I'd rather be healthy than have a million dollars. Okay? Even people who have a million dollars without their health, they can't do shit with that money anyway. So keep your money, man. Give me health. Okay? But I would like to have both. So thank God for his blessings. I do have both. <laughs> yes, I do have both. Anyhow, my birthday is coming up. Make no sure you come true no no this game, Sunday. Right? So act like you know. No most of you try to act like you don't know. I know most of y'all. Most yeah. of y'all see my uh, shit and be like, "Uh, oh, this man is on, uh, on, uh, on the ground again." I don't know what you think, but I would really encourage you to support black businesses. Let's Jam Music is a business, you know. Besides just encouraging people to take care of themselves and staying in shape and training people. We give you the music to vibe to. We give you the music to party to. And a lot of the music is very positive if you really pay close attention to it. Okay. And when you catch me in your neighborhood, make sure you say what's up. I'm probably one of the only person that still sells his own CDs out of his trunk these days. If you're not the other person that I do, please let me know. But I think I may be the only one. And I don't even care what you think about what I do. I'm just going to keep doing what I do. That's the grind. All right. Yes, uh, working out right now. I'm trying to stay consistent in the gym. I'm over here at Gold's Gym doing some skull crutches. This kind of workout right here is good for your tricep. And then I switched it up doing some close grip bench presses. Yeah, like I said, I really want to beat some mass and uh, stay away from bad habits and focus more on positive vibes and positive habits. And uh, yeah, if you're in the gym and you don't have a spot, that is how you take the weights off by yourself without hurting yourself. 20 pounds fly yeah this used to be really easy back in the days i'm not struggling with it but it's a little bit harder i must tell you i'm not gonna lie about that it's just a little bit harder so but try this workout in the gym whenever you're there if you want to work on your deltoid your deltoid is your shoulder muscles if you notice my deltoid those shoulder muscles are popping out they're bulging out 
yeah, this kind of workout could definitely get you on the same. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with my hair for this weekend, but it's out right now. I'm probably going to twist it. Or I may just leave it out. I'm not sure. I definitely like to switch up the look. It just feels like two different people <laughs> whenever I do that, which is kind of weird. But it's the same person, of course, but different looks, different vibe. If you know what I mean. And if you don't, you don't. Yes, let's jam music. You know what we do. I'm over here at this ghost gym trying to get this bicep to get bigger than the usually are yeah uh, you know size does matter <laughs> size definitely does matter so getting that bicep up getting that bicep up she likes it say she like it some like a brick semi rock hard that and a couple of more words that she altered that my stopwatch but I'd rather put a clock out to tick tock and she fatigue set them up for the knockout <laughs> that's a quick freestyle for y'all uh, I was just thinking about the fact that my bicep is getting bigger so and she likes it. Something like a brick. She said me rock hard. <laughs> what do you think? If you don't like it, let me know. And if you do like it, chime in. Definitely doing some more skull crutches. I believe the last one I did was heavier than what I'm doing right now. So I believe I just got five pounds on the side of 25 pounds. The bar right there is 25 pounds. And the weight on this side is 25. So as you're looking at this whole setup right now, that is 80 pounds I am lifting. It's not a lot of weight. It's not that challenging, you can try it, but based on your strength level, this could be challenging to you. Uh, like, you know, the goal is to challenge yourself. You don't want to keep doing the same thing you've been doing. So if you don't challenge yourself, it's hard to see growth. Uh, this kind of workout, you know, like I didn't really do any cardio to do when I went to the gym. So I figured not taking any breaks, keep my heart rate elevated. That is a way to get your cardio in. Check out more videos. I'm gonna keep posting. I do this. Check out the music. Hard copy is gonna drop probably within a week. Uh, make sure you tell your friends and family member. And when it does drop, check me out on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, wherever you do stream music, all platform. We are on there. Respect. Have a blessed day. Thanks.